Welcome to the Subspace Games YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video to uh, talk about the 3D Connection Space Navigator and using it with Blender. Um, the Space Navigator is a 3D mouse that comes in handy, makes you a lot more productive when you're working in a three-dimensional environment. So I was really excited to go out and get my, my Space Navigator um, check to make sure that it was compatible with Blender and then I got it and uh, turns out that it's not compatible with 2.5 it was uh, only compatible with 2.47 through 2.49 uh, according to some of the things I read on some of the Blender forums um, it's going to be compatible at some point um, now that there's a stable release of Blender uh, the devs are going to go back and and start working on the compatibility of the Space Navigator and other 3D mice um, but until then, it seems like we're kind of left out in the cold. But fortunately, I found in one of the Blender forums there was a link to some beta software for the Space Navigator. So I went out and downloaded that, that software. And I'll provide a link to that in the description for the video, so feel free to check it out. Um, but I've gone ahead and used it. The one thing that I will say is that uh, you need to uninstall the software that came with the Space Navigator. Um, before you can install this beta software. But basically what you see here is um, the new control panel that the Sp Space Navigator gives you with this beta software. And there's a lot of uh, new features. Uh, what it's designed to do is it actually gives you um, some options to map um, different controls that your 3D mouse can use even if the program does not have specific built-in functionality for the 3D mouse. So what I went ahead and did is um, I set up a new profile. Uh, you can just go into Manage Profiles. If you go to Add, um, you can see that there are running applications. It will automatically allow you to select one of the applications that's running to set up a profile. So I just went ahead and clicked on Blender and, and set up um, my own profile that I'm using. And then once you have a profile set up, you can come in here and for Select Function, um, you have 3D mouse which is the basic functionality of the Space Navigator you can have it emulate a joystick um, the mouse uh, or a keyboard so the key to getting this to work in Blender is that if you um, take the controls and you map them to 2D mouse as you can see like the mouse left to right it would be um, you know similar to panning so you just go ahead and select that you're emulating the mouse movement from left to right you know, in Blender, in order to do that, you hold down the shift key and then do the middle mouse button and it allows you to pan. So you go ahead and check those off. Um, make sure that it's checked as active because if it's not active, then it's not actually going to work. As you can see down here, this roll um, is not active. That's why it's grayed out. Uh, and then just play around with the threshold and this, this, the speed of uh, the control. And I went ahead and mapped all of those so as you can see when we come over to Blender and I'm using my um, Space Navigator everything works just fine I can do you know panning, zooming, rotations, everything that I'd like to do the downside to this and why this is kind of only a stopgap measure and, and is only going to be useful until the, the actual change is made in Blender to allow the support for this device is that since it's emulating the mouse if you're trying to use the space navigator and the mouse at the same time to maybe do some um, translations or you know movement within the window and then actually uh, manipulate an object it doesn't really work um, because then you end up um, fighting it and, and if you start setting this up you'll see what I mean so if you're doing a rotation with the space navigator and then you start use, moving the mouse uh, it'll start acting really strange. You'll get um, movements in all kinds of different directions, and um, because it is just emulating those things. Now, when the the actual plugin gets uh, used or gets made for the Space Navigator, I'm sure anybody who has one will will um, know that the the default behavior for that will be to allow both the mouse and the Space Navigator to work at the same time. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you how this works. Um, there's also some, you know, you can set up functions for the buttons on the side. Um, just some other things you can take a look at, but I just wanted people to be aware that this is out here and that they can use it. The other thing I will say about this, um, 
is that it does a pretty good job uh, if the profile is tied with a, an EXE or a specific program um, that it, it will switch back and forth depending on which program has the um, focus. So as you notice here, there's also Windows Explorer. Um, I've got Shiva, which is a three-dimensional um, game engine. So whenever I switch back and forth, it seamlessly detects which program I'm using, and then it, it uses that profile. Um, so you don't have to worry about going back and forth and loading profiles. Um, and also it will continue to be um, compatible with the current profiles or, or, sorry, current programs that are already have support. Um, because as you can see, if you move to Google Earth, you just see that the, um, you know, the functionality is already mapped to the 3D mouse, which enables it to work um, in native mode. So you can, uh, hopefully when this software becomes um, non-beta when it gets into production, uh, we'll see the similar functionality. The only thing that I have seen happen with this is occasionally it will crash when I come in to use um, the profiles or change anything around and I try and close it. Um, it has crashed a few times. Uh, other than that, it seems to work uh, wonderfully. It's pretty seamless and uh, hopefully you'll be able to find some use out of it too.